What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. I just watched Amateur. So Amateur is directed by Ryan Koo. It is a Netflix movie, and frankly, I have watched so many movies and did so much stuff today. And I'm sleepy, so I'm gonna make this review short and sweet. If you guys do not know how my reviews work, I like to talk about the good, the bad, and then give you my score. So another simple premise for Amateur, a young basketball player tries to fit in with his new team. That's it. That is the premise. And this movie started off very rocky for me. Some of the side performances in here were very rough to get through for the first 15-20 minutes. And I had a feeling this was going to end up as a bad Netflix film. First match came out last week. It was about a young kid who played sports. It was worth a watch. Now I didn't think Amateur was going to prove to be on that level, but the deeper I got into this film, the more I respected what they were giving us. And although I had some issues with some of the performances and just the filmmaking style in general, I don't think Ryan Koo has mastered directing yet, but he's on his way because this concept is so dang interesting. Yeah, we've seen sports movies like this before, but none that tackle what basketball is. And I don't mean how you play the game, I mean what happens behind the scenes. All of the horrible things that coaches are doing, paying players, bringing in players from other countries, how college recruiting has gone completely off the rails, that transfers to high school here and it's really well done. All this kid wants to do is one, support his family, and two, be an amazing, incredible basketball player. One who is successful and he gets tied up in all of this crap that frankly, none of it's really his fault. So it's cool to watch our main character go through this, learn through the process, and then at the end you get the resolve that I think you were looking for. And you need those stable points to have a strong foundation. This movie has that. It's a little weak, it's a little shaky here, there, and there, but overall I do think this movie can stand amongst the better films on Netflix right now. I also really like the way that the basketball scenes were filmed here. They had a very interesting film style, and a lot of these kids can actually play basketball. I hate movies when the characters are like walking around, they don't know what they're they're doing because they're actors. No, these guys look like they have played basketball in their lives, and I really respected that. I don't really remember the soundtrack. I don't remember the side characters, but I remember our main character, what he went through. I thought the coach was really good, and I think the parents were okay. They could have factored a little bit more into the story here and there, but overall, I was happy with this movie. <laughs> Some of the actors, they're just not very strong. And then some of the characters, the way that they are portrayed, you have the team bully. He comes off so strong, but it's not like his quips and his remarks are things that are just off the top of his head. It feels like these one-liners were thought of beforehand, and it all just seems really scripted to me. None of that came off as natural. And then it has those moments where somebody's walking away. Wait! Characters are doing things that are super predictable, things that we have seen before in sports films, and frankly, we have seen it done better than here. And I didn't like when this movie was the conventional, okay, this kid is really good at basketball, there's nothing holding him back other than this problem that he has. And that problem that I'm not going to say right here, it's hit upon, and it's mentioned, and it's fixed very quickly. I wanted that to be more of a dilemma. That's the biggest issue in this film for me. These points are hit upon so fast, scooted out of the way, they move on to the next thing that happens throughout the film. And then when you get to the end, yeah, you're satisfied with the ending, but the way there was rough, it was rocky. <laughs> But like I said, there is a stable foundation, and when they are playing upon these college basketball and high school basketball tropes, that's when this film is at its best. It shows the process. It shows what happens if you do wrong in the sport of basketball. I really like that. Amateur isn't monumental or game-changing, but if you like sports movies and if you like the sport of basketball, I think it's worth a watch. It's a little cheesy at times, like I said, but I'm going to give this a positive score. It gets a solid 64% from me if you're a basketball fan and you're on Netflix with nothing else to watch. I guarantee this will at least make you smile. Thank you for watching. Watching my Quiet Place review, my review for Blockers that is hopefully coming out or already out. I, I don't know how I'm doing this. This weekend, my Q&A video will be coming out, whether that is Saturday or Sunday. I just, I need to sleep. I need some rest. I'm tired. <laughs> you guys are the absolute best. Be sure to check out MovieBabbleReviews.com. You will see some incredible articles on there, and you might just see my big head pop up. I will catch you guys later. <laughs>